So a Venn diagram is the graphic representation of sets. So here we have an example of a Venn diagram. The big rectangle represents the universal set. And here's set A and set B represented by circles. To represent a union, you would include everything that is in A or in B. So here you can see the shaded area is A union B. A intersect B, which is the elements only common between A and B. So on the Venn diagram, you would shade only what's common between A and B, which is the overlapping area in the middle here. A complement would be everything that's not in A. So here, as you can see, the shaded area, which is everything that's not in A, but in the rectangle. And here, the same way for B prime, which is everything that's not in B. Here, uh, we're going to talk about complement with unions and intersection. So first, we're going to do A union B complement which is everything that's not in A union B. So as you learned, the, the area here is A union B. So everything that's not in A union B would be the shaded area outside here. A prime intersect B prime would represent the common area from A prime and B prime. So first, let's break it down to A prime and B prime themselves. Here you can see again, this is A prime, and this is B prime. So we want the intersection of these two, which is the common area between these two. And as you can see, this outside shaded area is what's common between the two. So A prime intersect B prime would be only the shaded area outside of A and B. And notice an interesting thing that these two, A union B prime and A prime intersect B prime, they're actually the same thing. Since A and B are disjoint, if there are no common elements between them. So here's an example. We have a set A with elements 1, 3, and 5, and set B with elements 2, 4, and 6. So notice there is nothing in common between A and B. So A and B are said to be disjoint. And on the Venn diagram, you can represent it like such. Here's A and B, and there is no common overlapping area in the middle for them. The partition of a set X are disjoint subset whose union is the set X itself. So that's a mouthful of word. Let's do an example to see what that means. So let's set X be the days of the week. And here we have set A, which is Monday and Tuesday, set B, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and set C, Saturday, and Sunday. So first thing, notice these sets are disjoint because there are no common elements between them. And notice the second thing is that when you put A, B, and C together, the union of them, you can see that that include Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which put together to be the days of the week. So therefore, A, B, and C are said to be a partition of X.